is uh, is she gets such a great joke writer and is so funny. You're going to love her. Please welcome Sarah Mills. <laughs> Thank you for your generous applause. <laughs> if I am ever so magical as to spawn a human specimen from the innards of my body, first thing I'm doing is investing in one of those baby on board bumper stickers from my car. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Just hear me out. I'm carrying my baby around town, <laughs> and someone's like, is your, is your baby okay with being held that way? And I'm like, I checked. It's on board. <laughs> <laughs> if you need proof, just read the back of my car later. It says it all right there. <laughs> so I traveled to Europe this summer. Thank you. <laughs> um, I went to France and I learned one very important thing. The biggest show-offs in the world are French children. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> one walked right by me speaking fluent French. <laughs> I was like, how did you do that? <laughs> and I've never spoken a word of French in my life. And um, that didn't bode so well for me in France. Unless it sort of had an advantage because usually Americans, they, they're they ready to just look at you with disdain. But, so I speak Spanish a bit and I couldn't help, like I accidentally keep, like people would be like, bonjour, and I'd be like, hola. <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, so instead of being like, oh, he's American, they'd be like, oh, something's wrong with her. <laughs> That's my impression of a French person, since I don't speak French. Um, speaking of show-offs, my brother <laughs> proudly told me, <laughs> this is a true story, <laughs> proudly told me he was in a room and picked his nose and got a real good booger on there. He was ready to flick it into the unknown where boogers go. And um, he sort of looked up and saw a room full of people staring at him. <laughs> Much like what I'm experiencing right now. And he just sort of did one of these. Just put it right back up in <laughs> Saving it for later. Um, Speaking of dying, I was in Hawaii. Do you all remember a couple years ago in January that ballistic missile warning that we got yeah. in Hawaii? Yeah. So I was there with my show off brother and um, it was our first morning sitting down to breakfast. We're in this diner and we hear the Amber Alert sound go off on our phone. And I was like, ooh. A missing child. <laughs> what license plate will I be looking out for today? <laughs> Pick up my phone and I see all caps message, um, ballistic missile inbound to Hawaii. He's like, oh my god, tell me more. <laughs> uh, seek immediate shelter, this is not a drill. First thing I did, genius that I am, remain seated and looked <laughs> at the sky. I was like, yeah, I don't see it. I did one of these, I was like, <clears throat> and then I was like, oh my god. But then I was like, oh, that's just my finger. <laughs> so, you know, I just put it right back up in there. Um, so, you know, all in all, it was a drill, AKA a waste of my time. I'm not upset or anything. Um, but to this day, the worst part of this whole experience has been like, I just, I can't enjoy my Amber Alerts anymore. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank you.